I'm Mark Schwann, creator of One Tree Hill. And I've forgotten everything. All right, good. Sun kissed and I. No, I'm fine, Steve. It's fine. You ready? Kiss and I are looking to reward the show's biggest fan. Make a 30 second video and tell us why we should come to your hometown. Tell us why we should shoot an episode of One Tree Hill. Um, <clears throat> hey, I'm Mark Schwan. <clears throat> My voice is cracking. And Sunkiss and I are looking to reward our show's biggest fan. Uh, why? I don't know. Make a 30 second video and tell us why we should shoot an episode of One Tree Hill in your hometown. And we'll. We'll pick. Did the One Tree Hill around. We may pack up our bags, come to your town, and shoot an episode with you in it. So we're always looking for the next big idea, which sort of led to One Tree Hill in Your Hometown, which was basically something Mark came to me about. Like everything else, we were sitting in an editing room one night at midnight, and I said to Joe, Devola, what if we shot an episode in somebody's town? I said, you know, we'll have a contest. And instead of bringing people to the show, let's take the show to them. I said, has anyone ever done that? We asked Sunkiss to give us a cash for One Tree Hill in your hometown. And they came through, which was great. So we set up the contest and we did a call to submissions with our audience to send in DVDs of why we should come to their hometown and why they're the biggest fans. And over the holidays, if we got the contest started at the right time, not only could people who wanted to participate have time to make their video, but we had people who had downtime who could watch the videos, including me. One, three, two. So we get this video from this small town in Texas, and there's such exuberance and there's such excitement in the video. And you know, technically, okay, you know, there's a jump cut here and a jump cut there. Based on who we wanted to be with Lucas, we've always found that Honey Grove has a lot in common. They did exactly what we asked them to do. Tell us about yourselves. Tell us about your town, and tell us why you love One Tree Hill. So how about you come to us? We got them in. Mark and I looked at them. We decided four finalists, and then we went out and scattered the towns. And we flew around America, and we got into vans, and we drove off the beaten path, and we went to a handful of these towns. So today we're on our way to a little town in Texas called Honey Grove, the sweetest town in Texas, I'm told. And unfortunately there was an ice storm, so it's taking us a while, but we're sure that once we get there it'll be worth it. Honey Grove, Texas is, is 90 to 100 miles north of Dallas. When you fly into Dallas, it's an hour and a half away from this town, and you tell a flight attendant, I'm going to Honey Grove, and they go, I don't know where that is. Feels a lot like home. Tractors, eight hours left, and hay up in front of us. The great thing about Honey Grove is it's it's tiny. You've passed through a lot of Honey Groves in your life, and you probably didn't take note of them. Once you take note of them, you see what's special. why we're here, okay. so it's still very low-key, it's all good. Okay. So we went and we tried to do it somewhat covertly. And Look at how far I go to make sure nobody knows we're from One Tree Hill and we're scouting this town. We're in Texas. And 
we looked around and then now we're looking, is there cinematic value? And it doesn't have to be anything that's, you know, earth shatteringly beautiful. There doesn't have to be a waterfall. There doesn't have to be a mountaintop. But there has to be something that's different from Tree Hill. What makes it special? What makes us feel like we're not in Tree Hill now? These girls had such exuberance and excitement for the show, but I don't know if they really ever believed the show would come. And for me, that was part of the point. Let's go somewhere. Let's surprise someone. And in a way, let's remind them that there's magic in the world. We wound up picking Money Grove, Texas, because we felt that the kids that put the video in were a good representation of our audience. We thought the town was basically the ideal town to do this promotion in. So we're here in Honey Grove, Texas, for the Sun Kiss Brings One Tree Hill to your hometown contest. And we're getting ready to announce that we are coming to Honey Grove. Yeah. We announced to Honey Grove that we were coming to their town. But you look around the room and they're crying. And this is, I don't know, it's as much of a big deal to us as it is to them. This is Hillary Burton. She wants to say hi. Go to Honey Grove, walk through that door with Hillary Burton, and see how that affects these kids. That's where it begins and ends. Well, all that Mark told us was that we were going to somewhere that was almost in the middle of nowhere, and we knew we'd be flying into Dallas and driving three hours. So we were definitely a little curious. When we finally found out that it was going to be Honey Grove, I wondered where Honey Grove was. What is there to do in Honey Grove? Like, what are we going to do there? Is it on the map? Like, I never heard of it. This is it, Honey Grove, the sweetest town in Texas. You know what's interesting, when you came up for the contest of going to a town and shooting the episode, you come up with the idea for the contest and you have to put everything into motion really oh, early. Right. Let's just ask a cop or something. Right, let's just walk up to the first cop. We see and so I used to always say to everyone, well, the kids are gonna take a road trip. And they would say, well, why are they taking the road trip? And I said, I don't know yet. Mouth goes missing and we decided to go on a road trip to go find him. They all decide that they're gonna drop what they're doing and head out to Honey Grove, Texas and drive straight through, you know, 20 hours and make it there. Thanks to Brooke, not knowing enough about cars, uh, I, I let a little bit of car trouble turn into a lot of car trouble. How long has that light on the dash been on? Um, just a little while, but it's kind of pretty color and I liked it. And we get stranded in this small town because our car breaks. And along the way we meet up with the ever popular Chris Keller. I see these hot girls stranded on the side of the road, so I decided to stop, and uh, it ends up being the Tree Hill kids that I knew back in North Carolina. And then, so I pick them up, and the nearest town is Honey Grove, where they're going to pick up now. They've got to stick around in Honey Grove, Texas for a little while and find a way to, to occupy themselves and have some fun, so. The episode of sort of, is sort of about the adventure that ensues after that. I'm Vicki Christopher. I'm Hannah Milford. Hudson Milford. Gina Johnson. Logan Sandy. Heather Blair. Allison Fitzgerald. Chrissy Blair. Day one, Honey Grove, Texas. We just got into Honey Grove. I brought James Lafferty and Antoine with me. We're gonna play a little basketball. When we got to Honey Grove the first night, me and James and uh, Antoine were gonna go play basketball. And they said, well, the team is practicing. And I said, well, do they want to play? We out here in uh, Honey Grove, Texas. Like I said, uh, never been here in my life. Never heard of it. But the people showing us mad love, so happy to be here. It was literally the first night in town. And so we played basketball. And it was our first interaction with the contest winners and with their friends. Mm -hmm. 